and run, make that hole in the park. Peterson is the winner. And it's Noah getting up, winning it. And they're off. Bob running. Pops is drawing up. And Bob is running away. David Dagger by five. And Jack in front, drawing it up. Who's around the race? That's a firm dip. And Lucy just galloping. John Henry keeps rolling along. No chief is striking. Best pal breaks away. So far as all glass. Real quiet. Piz now along the inside. Glad you could join us for Thursday racing at Betfair Hollywood Park as we kick off a brand new week. Pick six, carry over $107,000 on Thursday. Friday night racing tomorrow. Friday night, first post at 7.05. The Whalers in concert after the races. Saturday is Belmont Day, early first post, live racing here at Betfair Hollywood Park at 11 a.m. for a good 11 race card. That's on Saturday, Belmont Day, as all have another shoots for the Triple Crown in the Belmont. Right now, let's get to the action of the Thursday card, but first, the jockey and trainer standings just over halfway through the meet. Rafael Bejarano on top in the rider standings with 32 wins. Joe Talamo, a good meet in second. Joel Rosario holds the third spot. As for the trainers, Bob Baffert has doubled up the competition. 19 wins for Baffert, 41% winners. John Sadler, Jerry Hondor for second and third in the trainer standings. On to the Thursday afternoon action. The first race kicked off the pick five. Five furlongs, two old maiden fillies for a $50,000 claiming price. Number one, speeding through the city was the six to five favorite, Scratch, going to the gate. A vet scratch of the one. That made the favorite number four, first time starter Zareli at three to two. Vic Stoffer with the call of Thursday's opener. They're off. Economy of motion breaks best. Katie Starr sent along hard at the rail but can't keep up with economy of motion early. Jilly Bailey and Zireli are next. Then Panfila and the trailer is Lady 180. It's economy of motion into the far turn. Just a head in front of Jilly Bailey on the move. Jilly Bailey outside now takes over a short lead. Economy of motion is second by a length and a half to Zireli and Panfila. They're both about two and a half from the front. Katie Starr has dropped far out of it. Now 10 from the lead and another six lengths last to Lady 180. Katie Starr is trying to bolt in second to last position and she has. Top of the stretch, Jilly Bailey is now a clear cut leader. Jilly Bailey settles into the lane with a big lead. It's four and a half or five lengths as Zareli has run up into second. At the rail, Economy of Motion is trying to battle back and get second. Just might do it, but Jilly Bailey's gone. She's now seven in front. Economy of Motion will be second. Jilly Bailey wins. Jilly Bailey won by seven and a half. Economy of Motion was second. Zareli was third, and Panfila finished fourth. Third career start for Jilly Bailey, first time in for a tag, and this daughter of Storm and Fever scores nicely. Joe Tellemo up for trainer Steve Knapp, owned by Marty Layden, Jilly Bailey, $6.40. Economy of Motion ran well for second, third was Zareli. Trifecta 43.20, final time 58 and three-fifths. Race number two, maiden claimers at a mile and one sixteenth, forty thousand dollar claiming tag and a field of six. Number one, a day away, the post time choice at two to one. The four give him an away. It's first start for Doug O'Neill off the claim. Second choice at five to two. Six one a mile and a sixteenth in race two. They're at the post. They're off. A day away and a hard scent, Noble Kent. Vinny Bednar wants to make the lead with Noble Kent, and he will. Noble Kent to the front. Willie Brown is next. Then comes Everlasting Man and Lethal Intent, and the early trailer is give him away. Noble Kent to the back stretch, a length and a quarter in front of Willie Brown, who drafts nicely up into second. Then it's two lengths, two. A day away and Everlasting Man together third and fourth, and they're on the move closer now and as a team. Give him away is tugging. He's in the yellow, fifth and about four from the front, and Lethal Intent just outside of him, tightly packed as they move up the back stretch. Noble Kent trying to go it all the way, and he's comfortable up front. Noble Kent leads by a length and a quarter from an equally comfortable Willie Brown, who's tracking smartly in second. A day away is now clearly third. He's at the rail and two from the front. Everlasting Man has moved to the middle of cushion track. Give him away is going to probably need racing room. He is in four, fifth in the yellow and about five from the front. And lethal intent is the trailer three and a half furlongs from the wire, and Noble Kent is still the boss. 
Noble Ken leads by a length and a half. Willie Brown continues to track him intently in second. A day away is still there at the rail. Third, but now three from the front. Give him away is not going to need racing room because he's on the move and he's in the clear, in the yellow, and three wide. Give him away is moving up strongly. Noble Kent at the top of the stretch, but he can hear the footsteps of give him away, and these two will now set sail for the wire. Give him away outside. Noble Kent still in front at the rail, but it's only ahead. Give him away, and Noble Kent and the two of them shoulder to shoulder, final 16th, and now give him away is just in front, but maybe only for a stride. As Noble Kent comes right back, Adam and Noble Kent wins. I don't know if give him away even got by him, but Noble Kent got to the wire first. Give him away right there, had every chance. A day away third and everlasting man for it. Looked like give him away was gonna go right on by Noble Kent, but that was not the case. Apprentice Vinny Bednar and Noble Kent re-rally and score at $8.60. Dan Hendricks, the winning trainer, give him away, settled for second. Third was a day away. Early double, 29.80. Final time, 145 and 1. We'll take a timeout, come back with a carryover pick six. Bet Fair Hollywood Park is now open with exciting racing through Sunday, July 15th. World class racing awaits you like the Grade 1 Hollywood Gold Cup and the Grade 1 American Oaks. Free contests like our Horses and Homers contest every Sunday where you can win your share of $600 cash. And of course, our famous Friday Night Live Rock at the Races concert series brings a great concert every Friday night to Pet Fair Hollywood Park. Back with Thursday's third race, the start of the Pick 6. Pick 6 carry over $107,000 from Sunday. 564,000 bet on Thursday. Total pick six pool in excess of $671,000. Claimers at a mile and one sixteenth. Scratch the four big wags. Scratch the original morning line favorite number six, Low Gear Power. That may capture the call. The odds on choice. They're at the post. They're off. Capture the call sent right out to the lead and he'll make an uncontested lead into the clubhouse turn. Manchester man away in second then spicy bow and the early trailer is Royal Import. Capture the call can pick his path and pick his speed because he's the uncontested leader to the back stretch. Capture the call gears it down and leads by a length and a half. Manchester man is galloping in second then to the outside in Royal Import and here's a move from fourth to third now maybe into second for Royal Import and he's on the move in the white blinkers and he takes second and gonna come put some pressure on the front running favorite capture the call meanwhile spicy bow moves through at the rail and so Manchester man has gone from second to fourth in about a sixteenth of a mile up the back stretch they run and capture the call doling out that speed and he's two lengths to the good passing the four and a half furlong marker from Spicy Bow and Royal Import who are right together second and third. It's now six lengths to Manchester Man inside of a half mile left to race. No excuses for capture the call. He's had it his own way and he leaves the back stretch a length and a half in front of Spicy Bow who just got a tap of the whip on the right shoulder. No response. Royal Import is outside of him and those two are losing ground to capture the call who goes to the quarter pole now three and a half or four lengths in front. Manchester Man is running on a bit but he's seven lengths behind capture the call who is in complete charge now capture the call looks like Manchester man is his only danger but he is seven lengths behind and there's only a final furlong to run capture the call inside the furlong marker he's seven in front Manchester man has just moved up into second but a 16th out he's still five and a half behind capture the call who's going to go all the way to the wire to win Capture the call. Hidden, hand ridden past that wire. One, three and three quarters. Manchester man second. Royal import third. Spicy bow. Finish fourth. This has turned out to be a very nice claim for owner Joseph Robeson and trainer Craig DeLossi. Claimed a seven-year-old gilding for $10,000 back in late March. Two out of three wins since that claim. Capture the call makes a double for Joe Talamo at $3.40. No show wagering in the race. They only picked three $30.60. Final time, one forty-four and four fifths. On to race number four, fourth race at a mile and a sixteenth, maiden claimers claiming price of $30,000. Number six, Wild Acceleration has run seven times, been second six times, is the two to one favorite. Scratches seven, Holly and the Ivy, a field of six, went a mile and a sixteenth in the fourth. They're at the post. They're off. 
Pardon My Excess is Asked for Speed by Joe Talamo, and we'll make the lead from Bright Eyed and Bushy Tail, who sits second. Wild Acceleration and Unusual Darling, third and fourth, and Chocolate Delight. And the early trailer is I'm Always Hopeful. Joe Talamo going for his third win on the day, and he's got Pardon My Excess, the leader. Up the backstretch, into the backstretch, three quarters of a length in front of Bright Eyed and Bushy Tail in second, the same margin. Unusual Darling is tucked in at the rail. Meanwhile, Wild Acceleration moves up in the blue for Espinosa. And here's Wild Acceleration within a length and a quarter of the lead and on the move in the three path. Chocolate Delight is fifth and five from the lead. And then four lengths last, too. I'm always hopeful as they run up the back stretch. Pardon My Excess continues to lead. Builds up the advantage just a bit, a length and three quarters to a threesome that's chasing. Bright Eyed and Bushy Tail between horses. Unusual Darling at the rail and a three wide wild acceleration. Those three are now seven or eight clear of Chocolate Delight. Still five lengths last to I'm Always Hopeful, three furlongs left to run. Pardon My Excess leads still. A length and a half pushed along now by Talamo as Wild Acceleration is getting the best of that three horse battle for a second. Meanwhile, Unusual Darling is at the rail. Unusual Darling re rallying and with a chance, two from the front. Chocolate Delight is closing in. Bright Eyed and Bushy Tail is the first one to drop out. I'm Always Hopeful is the trailer. Top of the stretch, Pardon My Excess continues to lead. It's a two length advantage from Unusual Darling who's trying to come on. Then comes. To the outside, Bright Eyed and Bushy Tail, who is not dropping out, right back into the race. Wow, look at this. So, pardon my excess, Bright Eyed and Bushy Tail into second. Chocolate Delight, pardon my excess. They all took shots at her, but they couldn't get by. Three wins, Joe Talamo. Pardon my excess, the winner. Bright Eyed and Bushy Tail second. Chocolate Delight third. Unusual Darling fourth. Well, the New Jersey Devils delayed the LA Kings Stanley Cup celebration, but Joe Talamo's got himself a hat trick. Three wins on the card for second leading rider Joe Talamo, $8.60. Pardon my excess, Phil, Phil D'Amato, assistant to Mike Mitchell, also got a few horses on his own, and Phil's also the part owner, pardon my excess. Eight sixty dollars to win, right eyed and bushy tail, re rallied for second. Third was Chocolate Delight. Trifecta, $173.30. Final time, $146.01. We'll take a break, come back to the late pick four. Bet Fair Hollywood Park is now open with exciting racing through Sunday, July 15th. World-class racing awaits you like the Grade 1 Hollywood Gold Cup and the Grade 1 American Oaks. Free contests like our Horses and Homers contest every Sunday where you can win your share of $600 cash. And of course, our famous Friday Night Live Rock at the Races concert series brings a great concert every Friday night to Bet Fair Hollywood Park. Thursday's fifth kicked off the late pick four, six furlongs on a turf and allowance race with an optional climbing price of $25,000. Number four, my slummer Sue was second behind Streak and Mohican's track record performance last time out. It's a second choice at three to one. Red defense and old class horse drops in class. He's the five to two choice. Nine went six furlongs on a turf in race five. They're at the post. They're off. Thunder of Zion and Shoebiz Danny break best. Nofty close up in third. Suance's Candy, Jeffrey's Groove, and Warren's Dr. Yang are next. Then My Summer's Slew and Red Defense, and the trailer is Blue Jay Attack. Thunder of Zion and Shoebiz Danny. Thunder of Zion now clears off, and he leads by a length and a half. Shoebiz Danny is second by the same margin to Nofty, who gallops third, could get into second soon. Jeffrey's Groove, Suance's Candy, Warren's Dr. Yang, and My Summer Slew right across the track. Third flight, four from the front. Red Defense has five and a half to make up. The trailer is Blue Jay Attack, seven from Thunder of Zion, who goes to the quarter pole in front. Thunder of Zion leads. Jeffrey's Groove runs up outside of Nofty. Red Defense in the pink, four wide, but moving up, three off the lead. My Summer Slew has three and a half to come. Then Blue Jay Attack, final furlong. Thunder of Zion continues to lead. Nofty and Red Defense are coming after him. Blue Jay attack four from the front. And here comes Red Defense all the way up to take over the lead. Red Defense, Nofty into second. Thunder of Zion and Blue Jay attack. Red Defense. Red Defense one by two. Nofty was second. Thunder of Zion third. Blue Jay attack finished fourth. Back class of Red Defense carries him to the wire on top. He's owned by Gary and Cecil Barber, John Sadler, Joel Rosario, the winning team, at $7 even. Second, Nofty. Third, the pace setter, Thunder of Zion. 
Pick four, $56 and change. Pick five, $298.95. Final time, 108 and four. On to the sixth race, a mile and one sixteenth, three rolls and up, which have never won two. Scratch number one, show me the money, Jim. The solid favorite, number six, Mega Ride for trainer Pete Erton. They're at the post. They're off. Visible mark breaks best and goes for the front. St. Joel moves through inside of Warren's Kong. Mega Ride going to be four wide at the clubhouse turn. Mega Ride. Now moves up into the three path as Warren's Kong takes back. Early trailer is Super Candy. Early leader, Visible Mark. Visible Mark is the leader from a headstrong St. Joel tucked in tightly at the rail and a bit unmanageable to the backside. So that lands Visible Mark two in front. Mega Ride moves up outside of St. Joel, puts his pink blinkers into second, and he's after the front running Visible Mark. St. Joel's now back to third and four from the front. Warren's Kong has eight lengths to make up, and he's two in front of Super Candy as Visible Mark now gets away up the back stretch, and he quickens to the half-mile pole. Visible Mark has opened up a five-length lead on Mega Ride, who's racing in second. Three lengths to St. Joel in third, pushed along, as is Warren's Kong, who moves through inside of St. Joel. Super Candy is the trailer, now 13 lengths first to last as the quintet leaves the back stretch, and Visible Mark is the leader. Mega Ride is continuing to race in second, beginning to inch after the front runner, but Visible Mark goes towards the quarter pole, still five in front. Mega Ride is now asked to go after the front runner by Kevin Krieger, and he cuts into the margin now four in front. Then comes Warren's Kong, followed by Super Candy. St. Joel drops out of it, and Visible Mark is at the top of the stretch, and he leads by three. Mega Ride begins to close now, and he means business. Here comes Mega Ride. Warren's Kong is the danger on the outside. As Visible Mark is gone, he's back to third. Mega Ride, only a length in front of Warren's Kong, who's going to make this favorite work to the wire. Mega Ride, Warren's Kong. Mega Ride. Mega Ride won three quarters of a length. Warren's Kong, good second. Visible Mark, third. Super Candy, fourth. The favorite Mega Ride holds off the long shot Warren's Kong to score in race number six for trainer Pete Hurt and jockey Kevin Krieger in the saddle. $3.60. Nice exact $8.50. Trifecta 23.60. Final time, 145 and 1. We'll take a break. Come back with the late double. Betfair Hollywood Park is now open with exciting racing through Sunday, July 15th. World-class racing awaits you like the Grade 1 Hollywood Gold Cup and the Grade 1 American Oaks. Free contests like our Horses and Homers contest every Sunday where you can win your share of $600 cash. And of course, our famous Friday Night Live Rock at the Races concert series brings a great concert every Friday night to Betfair Hollywood Park. Back with Thursday's 7th, a mile and a 16th allowance race. Phillies and Mayors 3 and up for a good purse of $54,000. Post time favorite number one, Starlight Magic. She was third in the Mel Air on her most recent start. She's bet down to 6 to 5. 6 won a mile and a 16th in race number 7. They're at the post. They're up. Bella's Fantasy broke on top but does not want the lead and takes back to last. So that lands Whole Enchilada and Clodhopper 1 2. Endless Fancy and a Starlight Magic R3 4. Then to the outside and last sting, and the trailer is Bella's Fantasy. Whole Enchilada, the leader to the back stretch, and she scampers clear. Whole Enchilada, two length advantage over Clodhopper in second. Endless Fancy and Joe Talamo track third and about three and a half or four from the front. The California bred Starlight Magic is fifth, or is fourth, and she's the gray and about five lengths behind. Then comes Last Sting with six lengths to make up, and Bella's Fantasy is the trailer as they run up the back stretch. Whole Enchilada continues to lead. She's less than five furlongs from the wire and two lengths in front of Claude Hopper in second. Endless Fancy continues to race in third, four lengths behind. Then comes Starlight Magic, who's moved to the center of Cushion Track. Has a clear path, may lose a bit of ground leaving the back stretch, and she just lost a position to Last Sting, who moves through at the rail, and Last Sting is now four and a half off the lead. Bella's Fantasy is the trailer as they round the far turn. Whole Enchilada is the leader. Claude Hopper comes after her, but so does Endless Fancy, and so does Starlight Magic, who will be four wide. 
Meanwhile, Last Sting is looking for a way through. Nowhere to go right now, but run two and a half off the lead. And Bella's Fantasy is the trailer. Top of the stretch they run. And here's Starlight Magic and Edless Fancy. Now Last Sting has found a seam, but she's two lengths behind Starlight Magic, who is running very big. Starlight Magic, wow, look at her to level out. She's two and a half in front. Last Sting is second, Endless Fancy third, Starlight Magic. Very nice California bred. Starlight Magic beat Last Sting by two. Endless Fancy was third, and Bella's Fantasy finished fourth. Powerful win by the favorite, Starlight Magic. Owned by Corey Wagner, trained by Mark Latt, ridden to victory by Rafael Bejarano. Three-year-old filly by Marino Marini has now won three of seven lifetime starts. Earnings up around $200,000. The winner returned $4.60. Last Sting ran on for second, finishing third, Endless Fancy. Pick three, 2240. Final time, 144 and three. Eighth and final wrapped up to pick six, a mile on the turf. California bred made into the purse of $52,000. Number one, turn on the pump, solid second choice at seven to two. Sizzling Joe, the odds on favorite at four to five. Number six, Amarakius, first start as a gilding. 10 went a mile on the turf to wrap up the Thursday card. They're at the post. They're off. Turn on the pumps from the inside gate is quick. Shirley Swift and Jolly Joseph are close up. Then comes Afritondo to the outside, just jumped in. Next, it's Sizzlin' Joe and Dr. Nip with Dream Caught, followed by Gurnick, and the early trailer is Amarakius. Jolly Joseph is the leader to the back stretch. Two lengths in front of Turn on the Pumps in second. Shirley Swift gallops third, three and a half off the lead. Sizzlin' Joe makes his way to the rail. Orange Cap, the big favorite, and about four from the front. Afritondo and Dr. Nip have six lengths to make up. Then just jumped in, eight from the lead. Dream caught just inside of him. Gurnick is ten lengths behind, and Amarakius would have to make up 13 lengths in four and a half furlongs as Jolly Joseph leads to the half-mile pole. Trainer Mark Glatt trying to sweep the late double, and Jolly Joseph leads by three lengths from turn on the pumps in second. Shirley Swift and Sizzlin' Joe now together third and fourth and three and a half or four from the lead. Afritondo and Dr. Nip have five lengths to make up. Just jumped in three wide, six off the lead. Dreamcott has seven to come. So does Gurnick, and Amarakius is still the trailer, and they've caught Jolly Joseph at the top of the stretch. His lead is just ahead from Turn on the Pumps, who's right alongside in second. Sizzlin' Joe now drafts through into third, two and a half off the lead. Afritondo is next, and Shirley Swift, new leader, Turn on the Pumps. Just a neck, though, as Jolly Joseph battles on. Sizzlin' Joe's got to go from there. He's four behind. Outside of Sizzlin' Joe is... Shirley Swift and Turn On The Pumps is the leader by a length. Sizzlin' Joe trying to get third, won't. Turn On The Pumps wins. Turn On The Pumps beat Jolly Joseph. It is close for third and fourth between Shirley Swift and Afritondo. Sizzlin' Joe finished fifth. Turn On The Pumps makes his seventh career start a winning one. He's a gelded son of Kitten's Joy, owned and bred by Harris Farms. Martin Pedroza having a good meet up here for trainer Carla Gaines. Turn On The Pumps. $9.60. Second big long shot, Jolly Joseph. Photo for third, it was a dead heat for the show. Dead heat for the show between number five, Shirley Swift, and number seven, Afrin Tato. Dead heat for the show. 145 try, 354 90 147 try, $650.40. Super high five tickets returned over $9,700 a copy. Late pick four pool, almost $300,000, $69.45. Pick six, six out of six, $1,592.80. Five out of six, $3,180. Place pick all, winning tickets good for $388 and a dime. Friday night, first post, 7.05. In the fifth race, scratch number four, Verdula. That's it for Thursday racing from Betfair Hollywood Park. Racing resumes Friday night, first post at 7.05. The Whalers in concert after the races. And don't forget Saturday, Belmont Day, early first post. Live racing here in Southern California kicks off at 11 a.m. Until Friday night, for track announcer Vic Stoffer, I'm Kurt Hoover. See you back real soon at Betfair Hollywood Park.